Hi there, Joseph Shimiza here with another Sony Professional Tech Tip. This video has to do with anamorphic shooting. Anamorphic shooting was developed by Henry Creighton during World War I to provide a wide-angle viewer for military tanks. The optical process was called hypergonar at the time and captured a 180-angle field of view. Its first cinematic application would happen in 1927 on one film in Europe and really wouldn't be shot again until the 1950s when the motion picture industry needed to try and get their audiences back into the theater after the new craze of television had taken the public's eye and kept them at home. Their thought was more screen real estate would entice folks back into the theater. In the most basic sense, anamorphic image capture is an optical technology to fit a rectangle into the space of a square. That square being the 35 millimeter recording medium of the time. Take a look at these charts to see what's going on. Full frame and anamorphic friendly cameras are coming out at all levels of the camera world. So at Sony, we thought it might make sense to have a mode in our monitors that would help out those set on shooting this format. Our friends over at Ingenue were nice enough to lend us their new Optimo 56 millimeter to 152 millimeter A2S anamorphic lens. And you'll see in a second why Sony PVM monitors have an advantage when you're shooting anamorphically. Some monitors, other monitors, do have anamorphic de-squeeze features, but not all are created equally. In our PVM line of monitors, we don't scale the image. What that means is we don't squish or re-rast or step on the geometry in any detrimental way. We simply do the proper geometric conversion to ensure that what you're seeing is faithful to what the lens is capturing and the camera is recording. Here's how to turn on anamorphic de-squeeze in a Sony PVM and the handles available. First, just jump into our menus by hitting the menu button. Then we roll our wheel down to our user configuration. And then we're going to go to our input setting. Once we're on our input setting, I'm going to come down and I have anamorphic as an option. And like I said, we have some handles available here. And this is part of the fun of anamorphic. You can have a two times or a one three, and there are also other magnification differences for anamorphic shooting. We have 1.3 and two times available on our monitors and cameras. And then the other designation here you have for three has to do with where this image is coming from. On a Sony F55, I have a 17 by nine size imager, and I have a two times anamorphic lens on my camera. So I need to make sure I know those points so that I can have everything set up right so my geometry is right. A square is a square, a circle is a circle, as opposed to an ellipse or a square turning into a rectangle when you actually try and get this to a final projection medium. So once I do that, I'm good. As you can see, I've got my anamorphic image properly rendered for my display. So there you have it. Anamorphic D-squeeze and Sony PVM monitors. Thanks for watching and see you next time.